All right, Sam Tobin, Sound of Joy Music Services, and we're back with some more, I'll call it Hammond Chord Tutorials. It's going to go a little different than we have been going. We're going to still be in the church mode, but so many chords are available to you. As you see, we have a different look at our virtual Hammond organ. So we're going to start again with the center draw bars right here. To give us our closest sound to a piano placement. And as you can see, a little bit of, of a virtual piano look, virtual organ look. This is more of the 61 key look when you're on an actual organ. So, and as you would practice the scales the same way, not just the basic scales. but chromatically also in octaves. All right, so that's your practice right there. So we always want to look at chords. It depends a, a lot on how do you look at chords or how do you hear them. Do you hear them as full chords? Do you hear them as chopped chords? But to be able to maneuver to your chords. Now we're using our both, we're not using any foot pedals for this, um, this tutorial, just our upper whatever manual we're using that you see, we'll call it our upper manual, and just using our left hand to give us chords, say below middle C and below our left hand, and our right hand, middle C above, and sometimes they will cross into each other. All right, so this is gonna, let's gonna, we're gonna adjust some other draw bars now. Let's bring out a little bit of a brightness to what we have here, just a touch. There we go, just to brighten it up a little more. Now, when you're practicing chords, I often say you want to be able to practice the whole gamut of chords. And I use my version of a scale chord practice. Now that's my version. Others have their version, which is okay, but for me, as a young musician growing up, I did not have someone to show me an alternative version, so I had to find one that was comfortable for me. In the key of D flat, the same walk up. And I would carry this thing on chromatically up to D major. flat all the musicians favorite key E major which was always a challenge and of course F which is the jazz key note showing up on our virtual keyboard there it is it comes back now 
G flat. A flat, the musician's shout key. Everybody hides from B flat, secondary shout key. Walk it up. Lastly, B major. C sharp. F sharp. And B major. So it's all about finding a comfort level when you want to practice chords. Find a pattern which you can apply to every key, and then from there you begin to branch off. So we're going to go now into G and just give you a little bit more, some jazz chords that you can now work on. I'm going to bring up a rhythm that we got already keyed up. Got this rhythm keyed up. I'm going to get the volume just right. The tempo going. And we're going to give you some bass chords. Here you go. So we're going to change our straw bar settings so we get a little more deeper on the bass on the bottom. Change our highs and our harmonics. Get that beat going in the background. Uh, let's change this one right here. See how this sounds. Now you got that first part. We're going to switch it from the one in G, four, back to the one in G. That's 
going to bring us to a close for this tutorial. Again, we're looking to bring you innovative ways for you to become comfortable as you play your Hammond organ and you learn the different styles and the different touches you can use. We're going to leave you with another version of what we were just doing. We're going to expand on it just a bit and we're going to play you out. Here we go and... Thank you.